you, ladies and gentlemen. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, it's the part of the afternoon then when we uh, meet and greet probably one of the most important people at Oakwell this season. Please be hands together and welcome the Reds gaffer, Mark Robbins! <laughs> Matt, welcome. It's uh, always difficult, I guess, pre-season. The uh, players back in full training. How's pre-season gone for you? The main thing for pre-season is to get um, to get everybody together, get everybody fit, and try and avoid injuries. And if we can, uh, if we can do that, then it's been a successful pre-season. Um, the games so far have been pretty good. And I was pleased with. Uh, with our showing yesterday. Is it just more or less getting the lads in uh, match fitness then before the big kickoff a week on Saturday? Yeah, I mean it's all about that, but it's, it's obviously we've got a uh, large group of big players that have come into the club, so we've got to make sure that they gel together and uh, you know they're doing that. I'm, I'm pleased with everything uh, at present and we'll, uh, we'll continue to improve uh, until the big kickoff on the 7th of August. Is it difficult in today's economic climate to uh, bring in players, you know, the funding perhaps not quite there or players' expectations are high? Uh, I think that it's, you know, I get, I get great backing and uh, from, obviously from the supporters and from uh, Mr. Prime. And, um, you know, we do well, we're prudent, we make sure that there's a longevity to this football club and make sure that there's somewhere for the, uh, the people of Barnsley to come and watch football for many years to come. Well, the, uh, the objective is to get as many quality players in as we can do and try and create uh, some enjoyable football for the, for the people to watch. So I think the people that came yesterday will have seen what we're trying to do and we'll continue to do that, continue to build. And what I would say is that we will be bringing in some more players to help with the situation. We've got a, a healthy club at the moment. We've got some good young players uh, coming through. You know, we've taken four from the academy this year. There are 19 new team players in the academy uh, this year. Uh, we're setting up other links, maybe bringing in players from further uh, further afield to try and enhance the academy. And uh, it's exciting times, you know, there's no problem. And it doesn't mean to say that you've got to spend fortunes to get a, a successful team on the field. What was the situation with Hugo Colacci? I mean, everybody, I guess, thought that we'd seen the last of him and then there's a bit of a U-turn. I don't think it was necessarily a U-turn. I think there's, you know, without going into too many details, there's always, um, you know, other things that hinder. And obviously, the 10,000 mile, this uh, was an Argentina. So, you know, there was that little bit of a hindrance. I think that the, the contract was on the table for him. He, I was always confident that he would come back to us, but he needed to see what was out there for him. Maybe, uh, if, I mean, in fact, I'm, you know wanted him to do that and he, he did that he had a look at what was available he, he came back to his representatives and, uh, and accepted a contract offer and it wasn't because he didn't get any offer anywhere else you know there were a lot of other offers we beat serious competitions bring him back he wanted to, he saw what we were doing and he wanted to be a part of it and i'm delighted to have him back and i think some of the other players as well some good new signings that you brought in but perhaps one or two eyebrows raised with michael Bolden returning to work well well, it's, that's, uh, that's something that, that, that happened. It's Mike, I mean, Michael's a, a good professional player, and when somebody comes and says that they're going to play for you for nothing, I mean, it's a big, big thing in this, in this day and age. From what I've heard in the, in the summer, there's a lot of uh, emails from players. Michael said that he'd come and play for nothing. It doesn't mean to say he's going to get something, he was just refreshing. And I think that that's, uh, you know, credit to him. I know he's had offers from other football clubs while he's been here, so it may help him along the way as well. And while he's here, he'll get an opportunity. And to be fair, when he uh, last played for us here at Oakwell, 35 games and 10 goals, you'd, you'd take that as a return in a striker? He's, listen, he's a good player. And, and I like with the rest of the players that we've brought in. There's some good quality in there, and as I say, I'll go back to yesterday's game and the games during pre-season. Things are, things are going okay. We want to build on that. You can see that the players are hungry. They want to get better all the time. We brought players in that want to get success for themselves and for this football club. So, you know, there's a the right blend there. We've got to make sure that we continue that. Uh, once we've got things going, we've got to make sure that we keep things, uh, uh, keep things going in the right direction. 
I guess I, I know the answer to this, but I'm going to ask it anyway because I'm sure everybody will want me to ask. Uh, perhaps we need uh, strengthening up front on the uh, striker front. Could you, could you drop any names in for us? No. I knew I'd get the answer, but I thought I'd ask. Okay. And <laughs> That's, that's not a bad one, man. Any more suggestions from everybody out there? <laughs> Rooney. <laughs> yeah, we'll take him. <laughs> he couldn't score a bad door, could he? Uh, let's just talk about the World Cup, then moving away from uh, Oakwell. It's uh, been a bit of a disastrous summer for uh, England. Can you quite put your finger on why? Yeah, we weren't good enough. Simple as that, we weren't good enough. I think the... Um, the the South American teams and obviously Spain were far better, were far better technically and you know, it was something that we've got to try and try and change, change as coaches, you know, change what we're actually putting out on the pitch for people and try and try and get the better better coaching and more hours into the kids that we've got because Argentinians are still playing on the streets, you know, that's where they're getting the quality from, that's where they're getting the, the, the technique from. We stopped kids playing on the streets years ago and, uh, you know, it's, it's a shame and we're, we're obviously reaping those consequences now. You've played at the highest level, of course, with Manchester United and is it perhaps the fact that there may be too many foreign players playing at the top level that's stopping us? No, it's rubbish. I think um, plenty of time spent with the football is going to make you a better player technically you know? so from a young age you're talking about the, the, the physical development you're talking about um, athletic development of kids and that came from um, playing with the ball as often as you could do I mean I was out as a kid I was out for for hours on end so my mother called me in so it doesn't work like that nowadays you know there's a lot of other things society's changed we've got to try and get the, the kids with the ball um, as often as they can do. And finally then, what's your message for the Barnsley supporters this season? Buy your season tickets, come and watch us. We're trying to put a good product on the pitch for you and one that we can afford as a football club moving forward. And like I say, I hope that you, uh, you back us. You have done in the past. I want you to continue to do that in the future and it'll make it a lot easier for me to do my job. Thanks very much indeed. Certainly on behalf of uh, Turn FM and uh, everybody here at Oakwell, we wish you the very best of luck. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Robbins.